Hello everyone, this is Celeste Barbier. Today is December 9th, 2014. And today I would like to discuss with you a little bit about setting your priorities and goal setting for your new year resolutions that are coming up. Anyhow, so I was thinking about this last night and I realized that one of the goals I would like to set for myself is to achieve balance. Then I started to ponder the word balance. And initially, when you think of balance, remember being shown a wheel. And in that wheel, there were different spokes. And those spokes represented different areas of my life. Love, family, home, education, career, hobbies, interests. But this model was shown to me like this. Even spokes. And that this was a model for balance. But this just doesn't work. There's no way that I could equally balance out all these things. And it wouldn't even make any sense in the first place. See, when you have the word balance, I believe that that means something different to each of us. This is not balance. Very much like your diet, when they say to eat a balanced diet, they wouldn't tell you to eat four ounces of spinach with four ounces of meat with four ounces of bread and four ounces of sugar. No, everything's not equal like that. Your body doesn't work like that. It's a balance that needs to be achieved, a chemistry that works with your body. Life is really much a lot the same. Now we all have different priorities and nobody should come along and tell you that you need to make something a, a, a bigger priority. You're the one that needs to decide that. And you know in your gut, if you're not spending enough time with your family or your friends or you're not focused enough on work, you know that better than anybody. Nobody needs to tell you anything. You're, it's about personal responsibility. And that's what really goal setting is about. Because if it's not something you want to achieve, but somebody else wants you to achieve for you, then you're not going to find the motivation that you want. So I started making a list of different things that I want to improve on. I decided I'd like to be more communicative. I don't really stay in touch with family very much. I didn't grow up with the best of family life and my parents are deceased. My sister lives in Houston. My grandma doesn't live very far at all, but I rarely talk to her. So I decided that one area I'd like to improve in my life is my family life because I think family would be like a sliver on my pie chart of actually where I'm at. And really that's what you need to do is assess where you are. Draw a wheel of what you think your life, how your life is balanced right now. So would you have the biggest section you're on your, based on your career or the biggest section on your love life? Where are you spending your time and energy? You can ask yourself a series of questions to decide exactly where you are with that. And uh, questions could be based on time, like how often a week do you talk to your family? How often a week do you clean your house? How often a week do you spend reading a book? You could ask some some very simple questions. I'd be happy to come up with a questionnaire if that would help you assess where you're at. And what you're going to end up with is two different pie charts. One will assess where you are. So how much time are you devoting to each of these things in your life presently? And this may look pretty uneven to you. But then you're going to have another chart that you're going to create that says, where would you like to be? How much time would you like to spend with your loved ones? How much time would you like to spend on your hobbies and things that make you happy? And the purpose of this really is about happiness. It's about achieving a calm and a peace within yourself so that you know you're not neglecting those areas of your life. We only get to live very short period of time. I'm 33 years old, I'm gonna be 34 in February, and life has gone by so quickly. I can't even believe how fast things have gone. I've already been married for 10 years, I can't believe that. <laughs> and uh, it's gonna be over before you know it. And you don't wanna look back at these time, this time in your life, whether you're 60 or whether you're 20, and go, I should have spent more time doing something else. And it's, it's about not 
being, not regretting. And although we live in a society that forces us to kind of have to focus a lot of our attention and time on money and finances and bills and stuff, in the long run, a lot of that doesn't matter, at least in my beliefs. And, and this is this is just my opinion. We are spiritual beings living a human experience. And you got to kind of separate what's the human experience part from the spiritual part. Meaning, where's the quality of life? Now, if you have a career that you're passionate about, for instance, uh, I've had to spend a lot of time on my career recently because I went through a career change. I was laid off from my day job as a boutique manager. And this really, you know, people became concerned, where are you gonna work next, Celeste? And I kind of sat back and looked at them and I thought, you know, I've actually taken a lot of time off this work. I've basically been working two full-time jobs because I've been doing so much with my music. I was a music major in college. I let it go for a long time. And uh, just recently I've kind of been entertaining a lot in the last two years, but it got to the point where I was taking time off work. So when people asked me what I was gonna do next, that I'm going to be a full-time musician. One of the scariest things I've ever said. I mean, what's the one thing they tell you as a musician? Don't quit your day job, right? Well, I mean, I'm now my day job is as a, as a musician, and uh, I'm couldn't be happier. I'm, I'm definitely in a finance. I'm having. I'm definitely financially struggling. I'm in between, uh, kind of getting established and getting where do I want to be. But that's why I'm so focused on it. But. Uh, I'm actually focused on something that I love and it's actually creating more balance and peace within my heart even though the struggle I still I'm still financially struggling and I feel like ultimately what I'm doing right now is giving me more peace and happiness and this is what I want to be doing and um, I'm willing to go through the financial struggle in order to achieve the spiritual solitude and peace that I need at this juncture so, I mean, I think in, at my age, in my mid-30s, I think that's kind of where people start really reassessing where, where they're at, where they are, where they want to be, um, especially in their careers and families and things like that. I've already decided many years ago that uh, having children was not something that I wanted to incorporate into my life. Um, I don't see myself as a mother, and uh, but I do see myself as a teacher, as a, not a, not a, not a, teacher, more like an advisor, I would say, to people that um, want help in various areas of their life. And and because of that, uh, being a passion of mine aside from music, I've recently also made a decision that I would like to embark on a more spiritual study uh, in order to be a spiritual uh, and life advisor in the future. And um, I think I would do very well at that. Uh, I. I'm still focused on trying to rebalance my own life because the best way to be a role model and to be an advisor is to live by example. So I'm constantly working on myself to better myself and to be a better example. Uh, one struggle I've had my entire life is my weight and um, this all goes in with health and I'm trying to, uh, I just signed up for a gym and and uh, whole body vibration which is this weird thing. But anyway, uh, I, I'm, I'm spending more time on that and um, other things I've kind of set as goals within the coming year is to um, start making more of my own foods again, sprouting and dehydrating and juicing. Um, I would like to make my own kombucha. I would like to make sure I drink more water. These are a lot of health things. There's a lot that's health related since this is kind of an, a big thing literally uh, I need to lose weight to be a healthier person and right now I at, at the weight that I am at I face a lot of potential health risks in the future and I don't really want to face those risks I I don't think I would do very good under uh, in a hospital or sick I've never been thank God yet but I don't think I want to be the one responsible if that happens um, to me probably will be responsible anyway, but I need to do what I can to be responsible and take care of my health right now. Um, so anyhow, you need to assess where, go back to, back to the subject, you really need to assess where you are, how balanced your life is, how balanced you would like it to be, what are your priorities? This is what it gets down to, is what is your priority? You could even take these subjects and you don't have to do it in this format. You could just prioritize by making a list and then 
one, two, three, four, which ones are the most priority from one to ten? And how much time would you like to devote to those things? Um, and so asking yourself questions will help you figure out where you're at, where you want to be. And then once you've asked all the questions, you need to give yourself some answers. So if you're lacking in your, uh, you know, in your family life, how could you improve? Give yourself just one, maybe one or two tiny goals and try to achieve that nice rounded balance in your life. Whatever is going to make you feel better. Because ultimately happiness, I think, is very undervalued by some. I think happiness is more important than money uh, and more important than a lot of other things. Happiness and being surrounded by the people that you love and, uh, and, and, and both giving and receiving love from people and the universe is important. And so I think it's time to just assess where you're at. And uh, if you need help, let me know. Uh, and if you have questions, let me know. But I, I, I would love to help you. I love to help myself. And uh, I think we're all going through this journey together. And one of the great things about social media is that we can share that journey with one another. So thank you for listening to my video today. I hope this has helped you or impacted you in some minor way. And uh, I look forward to making more videos in the future. Thank you so much. Happy holidays to you. And feel free to share some of the goals that you've set for yourself underneath this post. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.